I'm thinking about trying a Taras boom where we like boom into like elef uh, flaming camels or something. Because Taras now with the extra scouts for for town center, extra sheep for town centers. Just got a notification that you posted a YouTube video. <laughs> so bye. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy the video. Let's see. So yeah, we're gonna see how. Maybe we can. Okay, I'm actually very curious. Let's try just a straight fast castle. I'm not even sure if we need farms with Tatars anymore. Going to Castle Age. So this will be a good experiment. Fast input, second TC in castle can be done in this age. Let's see. I'm more curious about seeing the boom, like the boom, how the boom feels. What's the APM software name? It's called Desktop APM. Warned you about the texture. Yeah, I've heard, I have heard about that, but I didn't know how it would actually impact the game. Like what the texture would actually do if I have it open. But I have seen that warning a couple of times. Torik! All right. So we get two sheep hitting Feudal Age, and we get two sheep per town center we make. This time I'm not gonna let my sheep be stolen. Tatar's an arena with no high ground. That is true. We do give away one of our bonuses. Sort of. I guess it will be harder to get my sheep stolen here as well, since I'm pocket now. How fast can you go cast layers? That's sort of what I'm gonna be experimenting with here a little bit. I think I just need one lumber camp, and probably not too many on wood. So there's a chance I can do a fast castle with 22, 24, do something along those lines. Pick an enemy and say you die first. I mean, I'm, I'm considering going for, for uh, flaming camels as an opening, so I'm not sure if I can kill anyone first. Should Taras take a page from AV3 and allow you to train your own sheep? Would definitely be an interesting one, but uh, I don't know. Yes. What? He always saw my bitter. It is good to be the king. Nice. Now you are part of one. Oh! Run, man! Send me a stroke, dude. It's not my problem. I cannot help that. Yeah, we have everything so far. I think I can get away with not a single farm going to, to Castle Age. I'm interested. What are the saves actually? Cumans, Mongols, Burmese, and Persians for them. Well, we have Tatars, Byzantines, Teutons, and Byzantines. Why do we have double Byzantines? <laughs> That's the magic of the latter, latter heroes. 
Am I gonna try this 21? 23 castlage? Does that work? I think I need to do 22 at least. They picked random, didn't they? Did they? I actually didn't notice. Uh, Pang Lima, apparently the team game performance isn't the best in late game in particular, yes. So if you're experiencing that, you're very, very likely not to be the only one. No way this works. I mean, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Where do the two extra sheep even spawn? I think it will work actually. Looking at the setup so far. Feel comfortable, com confident that it will work. Right under the TZ. Is there a chance that I block the spawn of them? Actually, I'm just going to watch my TZ to see where they spawn now. Okay, they just spawned right under the TZ. Interesting. Stop stream cheating, man! <laughs> Stop stream cheating! <laughs> okay, sorry. It's fine, I'm kidding. You can watch if you want to. We're on the same team, so I don't judge. Alright, we're up. Solid stuff. Not a single farm needed. Man, is this broken? Do they already have to change that? Is this broken? I'm scared that this might be too strong. Just like the general... The combination of extra sheep and feudal age. I think if they remove the feudal age sheep... Maybe it will be fine. I don't actually know. Um, they need extra two sheep. Yeah, I know, but they just give make it even easier, right? Still don't have a single farm. I did horse color. Didn't need horse color. Question is, can I have four two TCs right off the bat? Not sure. Noxvir, thank you very much for the four months. Thank you for all the fun game on. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. And thank you for supporting the channel. And TC on the stone. I, hit, I just hit. Oh shit! Should I lure them into an enemy, an ally base? <laughs> no, green! Stop it! Wait! I'm confused. Who is my ally? Who's my enemy? It doesn't look good. I mean, ah, oh shit. <laughs> I would like to get heavy plow as well. I haven't made a single farm yet, and I'm doing heavy plow. 
But I bought wood instead of food. Oh, the sheep! <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, I let him into my ally's base. He doesn't have loom. What did I do? <laughs> no. Why did I do this? Shit, I'm such a bad teammate. I'm such a bad teammate. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blue. I didn't mean to. Ah! Oh shit. Green! Green, go help him! Okay, nice. You know what? This is so nice. You get those extra sheep per Townsend. This is insane, man. That was a broken man. Okay, they're fine, they're fine. And he didn't lose a villager. It's it's all good. Small nuisance, but yeah. Should go for step lancers? True, silk, what's it called? Silk armor has been buffed. Which means Step Lancers have again received another buff. Do we have to. Do we check out the new Step Lancer? I mean, I call it new Step Lancer. It's not. I mean, yeah, it is new. It is a new Step Lancer. Maybe that's what we should do. <laughs> do you think these Sim City players, Age of Empires Sim City players, will now play Tatters? And they're like build a nice cheap farm? They never kill their sheep, they just build a ton of town centers to get more sheep to add to their farm. That's what I think is gonna happen. <laughs> Guys, flaming camels or step lancers? Step lancers will be legit, checking out how they feel. Flaming camels will be meme. So yeah, no heal bonus, that is true. Step Lancers, 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 both. Okay, people are heavily in favor of Step Lancers. So we'll check that out. I mean, there's always time for memeing other times. We can also maybe meme late as the game goes on. So let's see. Okay, I'm ready to make two new sheep. This is 19 minutes, and we have 52 wills. Isn't this... This is insane! It's actually insane! This is actually crazy, I think... I think this cannot stay. It may it might sound rushed that this is that I say that. But it feels ridiculous at the moment. How many wills would another three TZ boom have at nineteen men? I mean I, I wouldn't know numbers, but I just I know that this sound that's ridiculously high. I cannot t give you a specific number, but I'm pretty certain that what? Why did you not in the control group? But I'm pretty certain that you would not have. You probably have forty something villagers. What pop did you go feudal? I did 22 to feudal and 24 to castle age. Without a single farm. I, mean, I feel like I'm in like 25 minutes with a normal sieve. That's what it feels like right now. Because you also hit Castleage with instant two TCs, horse call, uh, heavy plow, bow saw. Eight 
80 bills at 23 minutes. Holy shit. Feels ridiculous, man. This is so broken, I think. Again, I know I'm jumping the gun with uh, calling out broken stuff. It's still early days. It just feels insane. Should have had those upgrades earlier. Uh, you say one's at 25 minutes, one and pop is good, so it's not that broken. Did I ever say that? My, The way I used to play Arabia Pocket in the past was that if I had 100 pop at. If I had 100 pop at 28 minutes, I was having a decent game as uh, Pocket on Arabia. That's actually how I used to play the game in the past. Or like how I used to be a verdict on my own pocket play in the past so we're up to imp with 110 villagers dude this does this doesn't this is not legit man this is not real It's a barracks, not a farm. You guys misunderstood my orders. Yeah, this. I, I think this is. I hate to say that so fast, but yeah. Let, let's just see what how it feels going on now. Maybe the units still suck. So, plus one, plus one armor now for all of these. Yellow is Imp. He's Cumans, right? Yes. So, he's Cumans, and I feel like we have a way better eco than him. Which we shouldn't have, and I can already feel the lag incoming. Purple is Imp as well. Persians. I'm not sure what the level is of these opponents. Ah, I failed. Castle save me. But I will maybe check the recording game quickly compare to compare village accounts. Whoa! <laughs> shit! This base is wrecked! Oh shit! I ain't seen that. Well, he'll get a castle up, he'll be fine. Have to wait for a little bit more numbers. Did 
think we should be able to take that quite easily. Bada boom! Don't shoot my lancers! No, don't make it! Don't build the gate yet! Ow! Oh, he heard me! <laughs> nice. Okay, now we can build! Nice. Okay, Cavalier against Lancers. This will be a good test. They have... A 100 HP though. I mean, the HP is very low. Well, they're doing a pretty good job. Must say. Pretty decent. Paladin. Fight! Man, the sound is very satisfying though, I must admit. So we have about equal numbers here. He might have a little bit more. I mean, with the Aramba behind, right? So it feels like we're tanking a lot of. Wait, we're. I honestly feel like Lancers from. He doesn't have the attack upgrades yet. But the Lancers aren't doing too bad. They are not doing too bad. What save is my ally here? Oh, oh. What is blue doing here? Okay, okay. I mean, the Aramba guy should die because he's been by himself. So we have Byzantines here. Let's go there and see if we can help. I need Timurid Siegecraft so I can also mix in some flaming boys in honor of Hayuna. Five in a wood. Okay. Man. Well, we actually managed to sneak that relic for now. Oh, here comes the lag. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh my god, no. Well, to be fair, Lancers should be pretty good in lag because of the extra range. I mean, that guy went down pretty fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? What is this game? Flaming Camels. F. Guys, F in chat for Flaming Camels. That's the hotkey. I'm just gonna charge. Maybe rams disappear really fast, so that's at least nice. Is this a good fight for us? Really hard to judge. There's not. Come on, flaming camel! Oh <laughs> no, the fireworks!
Okay, let me group up here so I can go with my flaming camel boys. Let's see if we can get some solid hits. Okay, so I want to get flaming camels into the middle of the Mangarai and see what happens. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Let's go! Don't shoot them! Let it happen! Stop microing! Oh my god, this guy is such a party pooper. Oh my god. A good sport would have let that happen. I lost like all my flaming camels. But my lances are doing work. Another issue here is that we are using uh, sp skirms. Oh, this guy. Just let it happen. Oh! That was a pretty solid hit, actually. It's only one way to play a Mangadai, dead serious. <laughs> I don't really disagree with you. And the main issue we have right now is that we have a player that's playing full skirm pike against Paladin and Mangadai. Which is not ideal. And green obviously was slowed down a lot by the Arambai. So he's... Uh, I need more flaming camels. Not sure what he's pinging for. Well. Okay, I start, I'm starting to understand what the whole talk about the... The... Performance issues are. Okay, 22 flaming camels. Okay, it's time. It's time, boys. Oh my god, this lag, though. What is this? <laughs> Run faster! Come on! Let me see some fireworks! This is stupid. Oh. I thought more Mangadai died than they actually did. I think. What? It looks like they're all dying and then... Well, I think they mostly died. Right? He only has like 10 left. Oh my god! I should probably help my ally now. Here I am. They're doing all right on that side now. Who's sending me gold? Oh, ah, so he's sending me his gold and just making trash units himself. That's a good strategy. All right. I mean, the flaming camels did a good job there. Have to be honest. Yeah, let me uh, make some more stables to enhance our production a little bit. So this is good actually. If we mix Hussar and Lancers, because the Hussar will be tanking damage in the front line, and the Lancers will be hitting from behind with an extra range. Not sure if we need trade. Guess we should make some. I think we're actually winning. With flaming camel, lancers, PowerPoint presentation. All the good stuff. Everything you can expect from an Age of Empires game is right here. How can you play like this? 
Yeah, it's very unlikely that I'll play more team games. <laughs> just, just putting that out there until these things are fixed or until they have patched this. Because this is not amazing, I must admit. Who gold? I can use... Or is he asking for gold? Okay, he can. he's slinging. What? Dude, he sent me everything! What save are you? Byzantine. Oh yeah, true, we have the double Byzantine. <laughs> Six strats. They send me all the gold that I can make flaming camels. And Lancers. Man, I love I love this team. They're a great team. They know how to play this game. I don't want wood problem. According to my girlfriend, yeah, but I'm I'm fine. They're trading though. He has traps, so it's all good. I'm getting more flaming camels. That's fine. We do another PowerPoint presentation uh, charge with Flaming Camels, and we're good to go. Another 200 gold. Fantastic. I love it. Oh. Nice. Now the challenge of making them move. More effin chat, boys. Flaming camels are coming. Slow and steady. Oh my god, what is this team in performance? Uh, I have 20 of these. How are flaming camels against buildings? Aren't they supposed to be good against buildings? Let me test. Okay, one flaming camel. How much damage do you do to a castle? Like 90. You good on the left? Yep. Yes. I would have liked this to add some monks for healing purposes. Okay, it's time. It's time to go. It's time! Bada boom! Fireworks! Celebrate the patch, boys! Oh, you you better run, boy. You remember what happened last time, don't you, huh? You remember what happened last time, huh? I, I see you there. I'm following. I see you. I saw you. I saw you. Nice frame rate. I know, right? Not bad. Should I give them some flaming camels on the other side, maybe? Help my team out a little bit. <laughs> I love how scared he is of the flaming camels, though. It's every man that I running for their lives. I have enough resources. Anyone need res? Oh, it's the trade. It's not worth trading. The trade cards are just bugging out. I asked if anyone needs! <laughs> okay, I appreciate the flaming camel boost. What? Someone has sold a lot of stone. Oh, let's go! Bada boom! Yes, fireworks! Bada boom! Wait, are flaming camels actually good now? Or what? Are flaming camels a thing? Are they good against. Cavalry? I mean, I did it. each of them cost 30 gold, so it's quite expensive, but... I mean, when you get on top of stuff... Very good against elephants, that is true, that is true. But when you get on top on top of stuff, I mean... The Megadon melted away. To my manly screams. Okay, once Green got up and running, they were fine there. The double Byzantine flank was a masterpiece. Indeed. They could sling me all their gold so I can make more flaming camels. It was absolutely fantastic. How does it feel to play with an actual flank instead of doubt and MBL? Feels good for once. Feels good for once. Original Legend, thank you for the 100 bits. Chapter Berg with 100 bits as well. Hi, I'm Clippy. I see you're trying to make a PowerPoint on how to fast cast into Step Lances with Tatters. Maybe I could help. 
Thank you. Night tea, thank you for the whole year. Aaron shakes with three months. Have we reached 2500? We have not. Uh, Rug call, thank you for 31 months. And Scurb, eight with the prime. One, two, three, flexed, three to one with the two months. And Yurf Dog with 23 months. Thank you, guys. I'm going to check the recorder game here quickly just to compare villager numbers. Because I have a feeling this Tatar's boom is going to be redonkulous. 13 13 Castlage. Heavy plow, bow saw, two TCs. Constant production. Okay, I, I have to check the replay because I'm not sure. I have to navigate to find it first. Load game. Because I could be exaggerating with my feelings here. So let's just have a quick look here. Have you noticed that when the game is pretty bad, the trade cards go dumb and not trade properly? Yes, we have. Wish I could fast forward faster. This will take a while. Bear with me, boys. Uh, Spoxman, thank you very much for the four months. New meta. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Let's switch this so we can see village accounts. Well played, nice defense against Rambai. Moravan, uh, was Moravan the green player? I didn't see a message in chat. What is that poster? It's fantastic. Search for the Viper Aurora on the mod center. And you will see it. So far, Tatters don't seem OP. Village accounts are fairly similar. But so 22 pop feudal age. I think we could have even stretched it thinner if we really wanted to just try to get up as soon as possible, but I think 22 pop gives you a reasonable economy as well. The two sheep will spawn. To castle age, 13, 13. Most people are hitting feudal age. <laughs> Uh, 25 plus 2 straight 4 TC would have been more bills. But I think then you cannot afford a uh, heavy plow. I'd rather do 3 TC heavy plow than 4 TC no heavy plow. I think 4 TC and add, uh, 3 TC and add a fourth a little bit later with heavy plow is better than straight 4 TC. But then, then again, you do get the two extra sheep, so there's a chance. Let's see here. Watch the Mangla explosion. I'm not gonna watch this recorded game all the way until there. I'm just gonna check, say two like mid castle age. So Cumin player has 43 bills right now. He is, um, he is still in feudal age, 47. We have 40 now. Okay, we're not that far ahead. So if we compare now, we have 45. Let's say Torek, who is Persians, who also should have a really good boom. Um, he only has horse color though, so no heavy plow there. 3 TC horse color. You have to take those things into account as well. Like a lot of, okay, so that's also a criticism to general conception of watching a game. You might watch a game and you see this guy has three less wills. But that guy is still in a way better position if he has horse color, uh, heavy plow and bow saw compared to a guy who has three, four more wills and don't have heavy plow, for example. So there's a big, there's a quite a difference. Like that's something people don't think about when they see village accounts. They see village accounts and be like, oh, he has three more villagers, he's ahead. But these equal upgrades are also very important. So let's see, we're now at 20 minutes. We have 59 wills. We have a surpassed the Cumans player who is on the way to feudal age now, uh, castle age now. Uh, compared to Persians, we are eight villagers ahead, no, seven villas ahead. And the Persians, as we said, did not have, still does not have a plow. Of course, I don't know the level, level exact level of my opponents. They seem to be okay-ish players. But also, our build here wasn't fine-tuned. 65. Man, I, I think this is broke. Like, not broken, but this is ridiculously strong. This is absolutely ridiculously strong. The Tatters play here. 80 villagers. 82 with heavy plow, with handcart, with everything. 
4 TC from the Teuton player. Somewhat, he's 50 mil just behind still. Man, this is ridiculous. What the hell? I mean, I'm comparing to these guys, even though they are way lower ELO, I still think they probably do a decent job of booming. Because this is pretty much an untouched boom from everyone. So I, I don't think these numbers are going to be too far off. Maybe add a couple of villagers extra for higher level players. I, this still feels ridiculous to me. Still feels ridiculous. I, I don't want to... I don't want to yell or scream, shout out that it's broken or unbalanced at the moment. It, it could be balanced still. I have to see it more in high level games. But I think... I think uh, it feels really, really strong at the moment.